play. Chronicle and Co. don't have too much time left. It's down to 45 seconds. Defo finds Sippin in the process, and this is so crucial because he's usually that kind of fragging component. He's the one that devours players for breakfast. Shadow, though, comes close right here, sees the first, tacks him out, but Shadow has to reply, and Chronicle comes in as well. This brings it only down to Xiao, and I have major doubts that this is going to work, Tom. It'd be one hell of a clutch. It was mentioned in the video just moments ago that this is what this man does, but to ask him to win a one versus four in the first round of the tournament, it's, it's a compliment with some shade. <laughs> True, but you have to make those from time to time. As the shots with the Spectre, you gotta make those from time to time as well. And so it's once more control. They have gained a perfect cross they have done right here with the toxic screen. This doesn't change the matter of fact that that spikes down. Demistic has a reply on Redgar. And it's a matter of time until this wall falls. Here it collapses. The Tasmanian Tiger won't get a thing. And so they will play it pretty much in time and frax. Chronicle finds Angel, and that means Viper has no further use in this. There's a single flash that could come out of Sky. Shadow is not going to use it for now, as Demo6 is trying to find Frax, but he's been put to the grave. And that leaves Shadow on his own. Not a single chance. The attack... Problem is his teammates are very far away, so he's not going to play too aggressively here. Just try and stop them taking full map control. Again, this is only pistols left in this round, so any damage, any ult orbs gained would be great. And Xiao, there you go. An extra one at least. Very much indeed. And at that point... Tired out. Sippin' got himself... At least a slight advantage, the bonus he needs to make such a round work, as though I have my doubts that this is going to slip out of the hands of Gambit. They still have all the abilities, still all the possibilities, and there's a tiny edge, but Xiao keeps on sticking. This man is not stopping, the defuse what? has not been interrupted at all. And F or Defo is holding the angle once anyone tries to swing a little too wide. Talking about it, here he starts. Steam is 6 eliminated, that is the Killjoy lockdown gone. Thrown in the Seekers. This definitely makes things a bit more awkward for the players fighting and the trades coming back thick and fast. They've also got rid of Redgar. So again, post-plant utility is going to be at a minimum. In fact, they really don't have anything to try and deny this in the latter stages of the round. They do have Defo, who's going to pop himself the Blade Storm. Just expecting the pressure to come in, but again, they're just going to start tapping this Diffuse, and they're going to throw a smoke onto it. Angel's been killed off, and they've got it halfway. Xiao's still with an opportunity to bring this round back, just trying to bait them into the open as the peak comes through. He nails oh, one, so good. but he can't quite find the second player. The peak from Nats will just about close out the round. All free. No one's just around. And again, the retake ability at that point in time is way too good. That's a nice start from Xiao. Nearly gets Nats, but he's still not eliminated. And the scoreboard's telling us Sippin's on a double. That retake, it seemed very distant and very far away. But it's Gambit. who we'll pretty much have somewhat of an issue on their hand right now. 4 HP on Nats, just the shoulder that's going to be seen. Demis, it can't reply in time. And Redgar Ooh. just waits. It's still eliminated. Sippin is on one point of health. That's the ult for you. It's still not working according to plan. As still, Sippin is on it. 4k he got. He won stat ace. He definitely tries to make that one work. Halfson is spotted. But does he get Chronicle is the question. Man would have the ult. But time's running. Time is running. And it's not working at all. He's going to stick it. But here's the side of B. As for now, it seems like that ult might become very useful. Shadow, though, does not really put anyone down in that process. Shadow is still alive on sight, though. And the B spot is not taken yet. Five seconds, eight, but still it works. Revive is in, and here's the man advantage. planted. Forward from Zipan and Xiao, but Zipan's gonna be the last man standing. Health regained, four bullets in the clip, but Defo is there to shut him down. Oh. Very understandable in the meantime. Oh, no. What a nasty shot, but no, it's falling down the right time, and Big Brain Angel strikes when needed. This is what you exactly need. It's time to stop the streak, but they're not done yet. Gambit is still here fighting, and they're killing players left, right, and center. Nats could be that one changing piece, as though that turret gave it away. Ten seconds to get it down, and it might be just working well. It is FPX calling back. At least looking to come in onto the A side at the moment. Shados leading the charge. All the utility actually switched to try and deny them this space. 
Rotation coming through and Zipan more than prepared for Redgar's lurk. So leaving just three players remaining in 30 seconds to make their play. Chronicle being caught out, in fact, as Zipan to find the headshot. And this is almost looking flawless from FPX. An almost perfect read after the deny. More ultimates being thrown out. They're going to try and deny what will be the lockdown using the Hunter's Fury to get rid of it. And actually, considering this is only pistols, Gambit, they actually have a man advantage. They do. And this is making it so, so dangerous. They still have also Redgar on his ult if they'd like to, but as we see right here, put that one down. Sippin's trying to once more play the ring around the Rosie, and as he's taken the white way, is he the man to clutch this out? Possibly sees Redgar, starts off quite good, but Nats knows how to reply in the right place, but this time they're over on A, so we can't do much to deny them. It might not matter, though. Demasic exactly and Zipan already making things costly. The spike's going to be dropped on the deck, and with the remaining two players still completely in the wrong spot, Nats will manage to find himself a kill, but in terms of the round, it is all over. No chance for them to take this one home, and FPX at least make it 8-4. Definitely not going to be happy with their defensive side. And this spike should go down any second now. Sip and starting off good. Chronicles eliminated. Spike planted. And now it is time for that retake. Now it is time to see how is the utility looking on the side of Gambit. I mean, surely they're still there with Redgar, but man has pretty much nothing to bring to the table when it comes down to retake, which now leads us to a situation where the wall could play a pivotal role. But again. Now the problem starts. Now you have to deny the retake, but Spike Diffuser has been killed. And this leads to FBX seemingly bringing it home. It's so silent. They're creeping around the side. Angel wants to start it off. Angel is starting it off. Nats has to escape. And they continue the fragging. That Spike is landing on the A side, except they change plans. And talking about it, Defo is finding Sippin. And that is the Spike in the hands of Gambit now. This is dangerous. He is not the man that you want to hand deliver the spike to. He also knows that there's a couple of players at least around this angle because they're going for the heals. The thing is, though, you can just pick up the spike. They've just taken it and walked away. They don't even really have to battle him anymore, but with him forced into a corner, it might actually be worth the risk. They can get the push back in the other direction, and in the meantime, Dima 6 making sure there's little to no rotations. It comes down to Shadows. He avoids the bot and manages to at least find himself one extra kill. The fact is, though, it's still a man left. advantage and an after plan. Spike planted. The FBX Last seems to revitalize, but it's Shados. Now needs to turn it around, and that's the way you can start it off. Another frag secure. The triple is already his, but the defuse needs to be the next step. Shao is absolutely having a problem with it, and he's beheading the opponent's set fence. Now the Seekers are going to be expended. This makes things very awkward for an operator, but oh, not! See you later, Shadow, as well! And now the rest of the team have to make a response. Spike will be planted, and Zipan's at least brought one down with it. Uh, full power. That is back on the side of Gambit. The rewife came in. And as Angel is killed just a few seconds after he got that spike down, it's Sippin and his boy Shao having a bit of an issue for sure. But this is the Sippin show. We know what this man is capable of. Goes for the ult, continues the streak, and he definitely wants to fight more. Bring the number nine on the table there for FBX. It ain't happening. Means Shao could save it, but the defuse is in, and that is another frack to get that spike down. It's it's gonna happen right here, but Hunter's Fury is gonna strike. Shao is still going on with the fragging, and the difference has been made by that push, but it's not enough, is it? It's not enough. No, they ran out of time to get the plant down. So it's actually going to be the right. And the peak from Defo was not far away, and he's got the Blade Storm as backup, but uh -oh. he's caught out by the aggressive nature of this FPX side. The quick take through the cages puts them in an after plant position, which might be quite difficult to break down. You've still got Angel with utility available to them, but more importantly, they've left Shadow lurking up close to almost try and deny them that extra space. Shadow is lurking on top. He has not been spotted yet. A crucial frag. But now it's time to get the defuser that's happening. Xiao is eliminating Chronicle. And as his counterpart falls, Redgar. A different approach are taken. Finally, they run through two. As though the quick scope from Defo is just nasty. This is humiliation on another level.
by the jet from Gambit, but still, it has to be the spike put down. Shadow is making it man equalized. I've got your trail. That guy has caught Dima sick. That lurk is not going to be able to do too much. And in fact, this has turned into an almost four rotation. A change of play. Zipan through the screen is already going to catch off one, but Chronicle oh. just domes the remaining players. A triple that could pretty much deny a lot of space. But look at the position of Defo. This man has such a high entry success for a very good reason. And as they put that spike down, Will it be the tie again? The back and forth and back and forth. Welcome to it's something we have world. seen so often on this map. But it's Shadow who strikes with the first. Red Gar's out and this brings them in a good situation. But here is the Neural Theft. Now the information is so valuable. Demosic must have been spotted. That revive is not coming in. And this is a big problem right now for Gambit. As Defro and Nats can turn it around, make it only one. Cypher can try, but his eyes can't see it all. The triple from Demosic. Fortunate for the side of Gambit. But Chronicle with what? The classic gets one. Is looking for more of that. Arrow was not working that good, but here's the damage. Defo with the small operator called the Marshal can't do too much. The impact's not there. And so they stroll towards the side of A and also they stroll towards Fight victory, planted. but 11 to 12, which it most likely... Right, and Hyde, but unfortunately, he doesn't quite get the game correct. The hunt, they've got everything on Gambit. They've got that operator back in play. They've got the rifles. They've even got a res, which on the other side, there are no ultimates currently available. Xiao very close and I do wonder if they're gonna go for that same a side setup we've seen previously because I just Shadow is not taking too much from the dart. This spike is now hitting it oh, Team of six swing is gonna Work out for him Fall back from the remaining players, but again, they leave Shadow behind. Oh. It's expected, but the shots are missed. No. And he's going to be able to get away with it. Shados very quick to find the trade, the push forward from Angel. He knows he needs to get up in the face of his Why opponents. And now Shao with the shock dart leaves it on to Defo. One man oh, versus right, the world. Right. And there's that Hunter's Fury. The single kill that Xiao needed to bring that ult online. Oh. There is no chance with Defo in this case. Just 11 oh. HP, a single tag from anything will close the map. It's going to be a lot of utility thrown towards the B-side. Sippin is taking down Nats, and the Gambit side is just down to free at this point. They have diminished the attack, and FPX have already forced them back, Tom. Yeah, this becomes a bit of a, a difficult round to read with uh, <laughs> looking at the, the map in particular, but it is going to be that five on three. Now, the push... They're going to come back forward for the side of Gambit, hoping to try and find something, but there's a hell of a lot of utility trying to deny them. The star place just in front, and Zipan, it's just going to shut. About to come on to Shadow. He actually gets a one-for-one -one trade, but Stinger, that's really not too bad. 40 seconds left on the clock. Camera denied, so the information only going to be that there's someone on the other side. All placed down as well. Oh, spike carrier is oh there it goes. And that's the paranoia here, pretty much doing ex excellent work of Redgar, but Chronicle has a reply to someone who's peeking too wide. And this brings Gambit in a spot where they definitely have a chance to turn around. And as I say that, Zippin of course strikes. Steam is sick as well as Angel. Gotta now turn it around with 22 and 100 points of health. Not the easiest task. As Nat just waits patiently behind the screen. He doesn't want to swing too wide. He knows about Angel's existence, but he has no clue where Dima Sick is. Now it's time for the frack. Definitely saw him. And that one versus one between the Cyphers. Who's gonna stay cooler? Well, it's gonna be Nats. Go stopper. Very early used. Unfortunately, no frack found at that point. For sipping. And Dima Six, yeah, well, would have the neural theft, but I'm not quite sure if that's gonna bring him anything, because first of all, he needs to survive in middle. Ain't happening. And Chronicle might just use to bait things out. Oh, it's oh no! Very wrong for Xiao, but it doesn't actually cost him too much. He's going to be able to get down. He still has his drone available to him, and yeah, also yeah, yeah. the dart. But yeah, that being yeah. shot doesn't actually tell him too much. This is the moment where he's actually peaked. That's so smart from Chronicle. He's not going to know there's a second player there. It doesn't matter. Going up to heaven, and look what's there. One well placed gravity well, and that is going to delay him again and again. They capitalize on it, and this is where. It couldn't agree more. 
And Estefo is only holding down that W. Not dashing, no updraft. <laughs> Crazy frag by of where he is. However, Shao oh, is surviving no. on the edge of it, just going for the spam. That could have been way worse here, Tom. That could have been way more problematic. But now, it could have been time to deny it. Demasic, though, strikes, doesn't have the awareness about the ramp player, and this. Really damage. Doesn't catch anyone, and actually they're just gonna go running straight through the flash, not catching them out, and with two players ready and waiting. It's already looking bleak for Gambit in this round. Shadow adds another to the body pile, but Chronicle has found another coppingly from our perspective, though. The rotation oh! all the way through, and Xiao. Chronicle taking a very accurate spot, sipping though, saying, Ain't happening, brother. From death, we oh, go no! straight through it, but he doesn't connect the knives. He did everything right, ruining the setup initially, but that doesn't connect the shots. But again, it's just Chronicle. He's turned things back. Ah, but it seems like there's also someone on the FBX side who's interested in turning things back. That was Zippin', but his life didn't last for too long. Shadow Stoke now joins the party. And as they're ready to retake the site, that recon bolt won't do too much. It's the Shadow Show for now. It's the Shadow Show that could do the difference. But it ain't happening. Shall know very quickly that there's going to be players on this angle. It seems like they're even going to try and run a stun through as they push right into him. Know this is Nats for you. This is Shower for you as well. Triple secured. And that's nice information, Nats, but most likely it won't pay off. Eliminated and the quad brought in by Soaps. And Shadow tries to play off of his own little smoke. As this though does not work according to plan, now this needs to be one flawless defense over on A. Shao is the only tool left. He's only finding right now that spike. Not much more for the moment. The wall has been now fully built up. And it's just not enough. It's just not enough for now. But uh oh, this is Sipan. Does he deny it? Yes, he does. This is 15 more. And those 15 more seconds definitely could make a difference. They also find Shados. And this is Chronicle, who flanks around, who comes around the corner, beheads the Emasic in the process. Means that good old Zippin Clutchmeister himself can't bring it home and now uh, taking a look at that aggression and sipping uh oh that one is too close defo did not actually destroy the tripwire and here it comes now they just mine a bit more than needed dima six swings around his own cage but he also sees retgar falling in front of him that was a frack that his teammate found shadows though the only one alive now on the gambit side Round. It does look like, however, there's a pretty good read coming out from Gambit, although I imagine this drone might give things away a little bit, left. especially with three players still lurking in mid. I wonder if we might see a change still from Gambit. Might be the case. We definitely saw that FPX have the awareness about one player pushing back into their own spawn. Chronicle denies the plan. And with the timer being so low, not only Gambit is fighting you, the clock does as well. Shadow needs to make some work for his teammate. Five more seconds, and it definitely becomes a problem right now. It's going down. FPX, one of the slowest teams in Europe when it comes down to planning the spike. And that's pretty much a prime example right here. Redgar being fully stunned. They must have seen it. Angel, can he capitalize on it? Not entirely. And as Dima Sick and his sheriff is right now trying to hunt down the criminals, Shadow brings it out down in time. Yes, he does. Does, and that is the Astro playing a pivotal role. He definitely heard that. And can Gambit bring it home? Yes, they can! Shadow is annihilate. You should definitely not try to force the issue. Talking about it, there you go. Shadow does not even see that. I think he just saw pretty much the dash. The tiny little lines behind Jet. And that is nothing else than a tripwire down. Just the head of the Masik, pardon, the head of Natsine, and he freaks up the double. This is where the ropes can become deadly. FPX only down to two. The weaponry not that strong on the FPX side. Well, except... I'm not taking that back. I mean, we still see a Spectre. It's where FPX turned the tables and they turned it massively. Now the surprise play of Angel. That could make the difference. And yes, it does. Yes, it does. Xiao joins. And as they find frags left, right, and center, it very much feels... They, they pretty much clutch each other close, at least towards heaven. I think Angel must have been hurt. Unfortunate for Redgar to not find the frag. And if Chronicle can make a difference, definitely not with the Graviton Well coming his way. They can all just pass, but for how long is the question? There is Shados, and this also means the spike has now been placed on a silver platter. Still, Chronicle and Shados strike. Sippin is having none of that. 
but 20 seconds, and they gotta get that thing. This spike has to be brought to the ground, because otherwise, the loss is pretty much on their side. This is Defo, and this is where the Operator safe is a major difference. Demasic run, boy, run is pretty much the soundtrack of that one. Six more seconds, make it five. He starts to defuse, he's not gonna fake, he's not gonna fake! Demasic falls, and Gambit bring home a round that should have never been... That icebox was already a blast. Split is also pretty tight. Talking about it. I know exactly. That's out. An angel coming in. That was exactly where his ult played a crucial role. Another spike down. It's funny why since Sippin lurking the entire way over on B. That's that's very crazy right now to that degree. That I think they feel so safe of getting the round that they send him lurking to at the end of the day. Absolutely destroy the economy. They want this economy gone. But if it's gonna even work, that's a different question, because this is right now a crucial dart. This is Angel joining. But Xiao is just waiting patiently. They're coming right now out of the smoke. That works. Here's the old coming in as well. And Xiao with the double. It's close. We can see Angel already ready to set up his team. He doesn't need to. Xiao just connects every shot that's ever asked of him. And now the rest of the players can just wipe down the remainder. Nice shot from Nats at least. He can... I was gonna say build up ult points. This is something that you can grab once more and... It's not gone. It's far away from being gone actually. No match. What, what I will say is, I, I know that as a commentator there is this almost... I, I, I guess, uh, not distaste, but people don't like it when you're most fanboy players. I'm gonna go out straight away and say I'm a, I'm a, Nat, I'm a Nats fanboy. By uh, watching through some of their demos, I think that this man has so many diffs to the window. And that is the worst. Cosmic Divide is coming in. And this could right now be the end of Gambit, but we're far away from being done. As Shao, though, takes a dashing defo. Not obtaining any control for now on ramp is a bit of a problem for Gambit. They are down by two. And with this kind of 